Welcome mga kaibigan sa Pro Gaming Series, series uh, Spring Season 2014 Live ngayon sa Green and Page Office I'm GG Sphere And I'm Jay Manood naman tayo sa laban sa pagitan ng Team Wargads At ng team ng IPT Nag-switch sila ng uh, uh, lanes ngayon Ang kanina purple team ay naging blue team, uh, blue team At ang kanina blue team ay naging purple team Mga kaibigan, game muna tayo dito Picking face Wargads vs Team IPT So far, ayan, we have seen na binan ngayon na Team Wargad si Shivana Ziggs at si Evelyn para sa team members ng uh, IPT dito. And for the other hand, we have IPT, Kazix, Lulu at si Gragas. Alright, so now Wargad have already first pick kill which was uh, banned the first game. But they uh, Looks like they're gonna go back to uh, the, the plan a while ago and they were able to pick up kill early uh, at their first pick. So ngayon, seeing na kukunin ngayon ng Team Wargad si Kill as the uh, uh, champion dito, more or less gagawin siya, possible kasi yun na ngayon si Kayla gawing top lane, pwede siyang gawing jungle, at pwede siyang gawing mid lane yun. So we'll see kung nung gagawin na Team Wargas dito for uh, Kayla as their uh, AP champion dito against the team ng uh, IPT dito. Well, seeing ngayon na pinag-iisipan mabuti na Team IPT, wow mga big and first big sa team ng IPT, si Elise at si Annie. So, yes, that's right. So once again, makikita na naman natin ang support Annie ng Team IPT dito. Against the team ng Wargads. Yes, in our first game, naging super effective si Annie does a flash saber near the end of the game, and that could that was probably one of the reasons why AP, IPT was able to close out the game uh, much earlier. So far, ngayon seeing na ang pinipili ng team Wargads pinagisip pa nila mabuti. Kukuunin nga ba nila itong si Zed or at uh, the uh, si Alistar as the first a uh, second picks dito. So far, ngayon tigni natin mabuti kung sino kukuunin nila champion, and I think Zed. Tingin mo ba Zed can uh, go, if, if Zed yung ibili nila dito, can go against Elise or kay Annie? Well yes, uh, Zed has very strong uh, burst damage. He's Although medyo na-nerf yes. na, 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 na yung, uh, yung uh, ability, uh, some of his abilities in the previous patch. So it looks like they're deciding not to go for him yet just now. He is an assassin champion dito, pero I think uh, Wargads, uh, mga kaibigan, pinag-isipan nilang mabuti and they pick Leona at si Vi. Para sa kanila ng pangalawang picks dito. So far ngayon, pinag-iisip ang mabuti ng Team IPT kung sino yung third and fourth pick nila. Leona, Kale, at itong si Vi. I think, uh, good champion pagdating sa mga pang initiate dito. We have Vi na mayroon pang gap close ability. We have si Leona as well, yung kanyang solar flare, yung kanyang pag-hook pa loob. And si Kale na kaya magbigay ng advantage once na mayroong champion dito na pinul force ng Team IPT. She could just use her uh, divine intervention. That's right. So basically, what Vi can do is basically uh, pick the target they want to take out and follow up by uh, using Leon Leona's sun uh, solar flare. So far, ngayon pa nag-iisip pa nulit ng IPT kung sino yung kanilang pang third pick dito. Wow, mga kaibigan, Dr. Mundo, a very high tanky champion dito. Kung saan isang champion na talagang kapag pinili ng team IPT dito, magbibigay ng pressure sa Wargats, lalo-lalo na kahit meron silang kill dito. Hindi basta-basta na makakatulong itong kill kahil, ka dahil kaya mag-burst Kahit sabihin natin kayo mag-burst ng kill ng champion dito Pero, well, having Dr. Mundo And yet, pinili nila ngayon si uh, Renekton as their third pick dito So, hindi nila kinuha si Mundo Dahil, actually, mayroong pros and cons itong si uh, Mundo kapag pinili mo Sobrang tanky niya, yes Pero, as you can see, yung kanyang single target na skills Yung kanyang uh, first skill dito Yun ang kaya, kaya niya i-contribute sa kanyang kalaban dito But, uh, yung damage overtime din niya sa kanyang second skill Yes, I think the reason why pinili ni si Renekton for the top lane is because hindi pa rin nila alam kung ano yung top yes. lane ni war, ng War Gods. And since Renekton is a very good champion, mm -hmm. has good sustain, it's a very safe pick for the top lane. He's also a champion na talagang wapasin mo. Itong si Renekton ay uh, very safe pick para sa team ng War Gods dito, uh, ng IPD dito. So, having Renekton as your champion, kahit na sino, ikan, ilaban mo dito, he can be, uh, be very much effective against sa sino niya dito. Yes, and looks like uh, Wargas has decided to still go with Zed as their mid laner. And probably Kyle will probably top lane. It could be switched around. Definitely, I still think this V will be in the jungle, which was very effective for them in the first game. Pero sobrang basic na pick ng Wargas dito. Kung papansin mo, meron silang Leona, meron silang Vi, meron silang KT, Zed, at itong si Kyle. So, more or less, they're trying to uh, give so much effort sa kanilang uh, pag-initiate dito. And Kyle can just use his divine intervention kung sino mga mag-initiate pa loob. Yes, and also Kane is a very, very strong late game champion. Pag gumabot na to ng late game and, and uh, they leave Kale unchecked, she will be able to burst down some of the champions of IPT light or IPT rather. So, uh, having the lineup na team IPT dito, meron silang Elise, meron silang Annie, meron silang Renekton, 
at si Ezreal. So, pinag-iisip nila kung sino yung last pick nila dito sa kanilang lineup. So, I think, uh, kung si Anivia man ang gagawin champion nila dito para sa team ng uh, IPT, sobrang dami nung kanilang uh, crowd control ay sa kanilang kalaban dito. Yes, and this is very interesting because uh, IPT Light decided to go for Anivia. So, this will provide more crowd control for uh, Team IPT. So, ngayon mga kaibigan, JLC, Bigang itong si uh, uh, Kale as their top laner dito sa laban nila sa team ng IPT. So, Renekton versus Kale, sino sa tingin mo yung may mas dominant na skills dito? O yung talagang mag-dominate sa lane nila sa kanilang dalawa? Uh, it, it'll be really hard to say because uh, like I said, we both know uh, that Renekton is, uh, has a lot of sustain as well. I don't think uh, anything will be happening. There won't be that much things happening at the early part of the game. It really, it, this will really come to the team fight uh, in the later part of the game. So ngayon, uh, having itong si Kale at si Renekton, both champion dito ay parehong melee. Pero once na ginamit itong si uh, Kale yung kanyang third skill, yun na yung kanyang advantage sa, lia, sa kanyang range dito kung saan kaya niyang magbigay ng damage kay Renekton na hindi siya naaabot. Pero Renekton, once na mag-dash in siya dito kay Kale, Talagang mga asaktan si Kale dito dahil nga, knowing Renekton, he is a champion na talagang uh, sobrang viable sa top lane. Yes, and actually, I really like uh, the pick of light, choosing the uh, Nivea. The Nivea is basically considered a soft uh, counter against Kale. Because uh, like you, you can see, uh, the, the team of War Gods, they pick a very dive-in, all-in uh, composition. While Nivea will be able to provide a wall and uh, her user, user assets to slow down any of the other champions who are trying to close into the his team members. So, uh, isang malaking bagay pa dito kay Light is kapag, gina, na, kapag namatay siyang champion dito, meron siya yung kanyang passive na magiging egg siya kung saan na uh, he will uh, reborn kapag uh, nabuhay, uh, kapag namatay siya dito against sa kanya ng kalaban. Pero, kapag nagkukultaw nito, yun ang uh, tangi-tangi advantage ng War Gods against sa team ng IPT dito. Yes, that's right. So, uh, in your opinion, which team do you, are you, uh, which uh, team co composition do you think is better? Having the lineup ng Wargads at ng IPT dito, uh, Leona, Zed, Kale, and Caitlyn, saka si Vi, for the team member naman ng IPT, meron tayong Elise, Annie, Renekton, and Ezreal, plus si Anivia. Uh, lineup composi uh, composition ng team nila dito, I think, mas malakas ang team members dito ng IPT since they have uh, sobrang daming crowd control dito kung saan Kanina mo naman, kanina nakita natin yung effectiveness itong si Ani na ginamit ni Hatred din. Agit sa kanilang kalaban, uh, yung kanyang T-burst, yung kanyang stunts. Kapag na-follow up ito ng uh, True Shot Barrage ni uh, Ezreal, yung SS ni uh, Anivia dito, yung kay Renekton, sobrang may hirapan ng team ng Wargads dito. Kahit sabi mo, kung papasin mo lineup ng Wargads, they have Z para sa isang Assassin Champion. Halos tat sila pang initiate the champion. And Para sa IPT, hindi nila ito sinabayan ng pang team composition. Pero meron silang champion dito na katulad ni Ezreal, meron silang champion na katulad ni Nivia na parang ibigay ng poke sa kanilang kalaban sa early part of the game. Pero kapag napasukan sila ng kaya na sinong member ng Wargas dito, kaya nila mag-dominate against dito sa team ng IPT. Yes, I think it's a little bit dangerous what Wargas did because they don't really have any forms of disengage. Once they go in, all the team members have to go in and if they do, do not follow up with one of the members who do go in, they will definitely lose a member right away. So sa mga pagkakataong ito, what the team Wargats might do is uh, sustain lang nila yung kanilang mga lane at kapag umabos sila na level 6, they have to think na tapusin kagad nila yung kanilang objectives dito. That's right. Alright, so uh, looking at the lineups again, uh, we have Rebenga as uh, Elise. This is, we, I'm expecting uh, this Elise to do a lot of uh, early ganking in the early lane, especially since of, uh, she has a stun and uh, high mobility as well, which she can use to uh, catch up with any uh, escaping champions, especially here in the bottom lane, which they shouldn't allow Caitlyn to uh, get uh, farmed ahead because she is a very strong uh, lane pusher. So now, uh, uh, lineup ng IPT dito, having Elise as your jungle, kaya na sinabi natin before sa ating mga streams dito, uh, she is a champion talagang sobrang effective pagdating sa jungle. She can just use her stun, yung kanyang uh, kukun, yung kukun niya, she can just repel kapag nagkaroon ng mga engage sa kanya. And he, she can burst a champion dito sa team members ng uh, War Gods. And at the same time, kaya niya rin gawing tank yung kanyang champion dito sa laban nila. Yes, and actually, looking at the composition of IPT, they, provide, they also have a lot of AP damage. So this is something War Gods would have to probably build a lot of magic resist to counter this. Like we have uh, Elise, of course it's mostly magic damage. We have Annie with the Sibbers. Renekton, when she, uh, he has his Sunfire Cape and he uses his SS. 
uh, Fury of the Sands. These, these all provide magic damage, including the SS of uh, Ezreal. And Anivia, of course, is all, is all pure magic damage as well. Actually, sa team ng IPT dito, uh, having Anivia with the yung crowd control ng team members nila, uh, Anivia, we have uh, Renekton, we have Annie, I think ito yung isang magandang ginawa ng IPT against sa team ng War Gods. Knowing uh, itong si Kane ay merong Divine Intervention, yes, pero sa isang champion na niya magagamit ito. And with the crowd control coming from team ng IPT, hindi nila kayang isip ang kahit na sinong member nila na mas, mas secure ng team War Gods, uh, I mean ng IPT, sa kanilang laban dito. And again mga kaibigan, game muna tayo sa pagitan ng team War Gods at team Imperium Pro Gaming Team. Alright, so let's get into the rift right now. As well. Let's see if there will be anything interesting. Uh, in terms of level 1, definitely I, I'd have to give it to War Gods. They have definitely a stronger level 1. And if, if they decide to invade, it, this will be very much favorable to them. And uh, right now, as we can see, the, all, both teams are actually grouped together. And it looks like there may be an early uh, clash at, here, at level, here at level 1 near the blue buff of uh, Imperium IPT. So tignan natin mabuti kung anong gagawin dito ng Team IPT. They are trying to invade ang uh, blue ba, uh, red buff dito ng Team Wargaz. And at the same time, nagabang din ang Wargaz dito na mag, uh, ng isang champion na magkakaroon ng uh, liga, maligaw ang isang champion dito ng Team IPT. Ngunit sama-sama uh, dito ang team members ng IPT para mas steal ang red buff ng Team Wargaz dito. This is actually very da dangerous for IPT. If they decide to actually take uh, the red buff of Wargaz, this could po they could possibly be collapsed on from war gods from behind but it looks like uh, IPT is be being smart about this and deciding to go for the blue buff instead because they noticed that most uh, nobody eh, nobody was there except for the Z all right so right now uh, IPT is basically grouping around the blue buff of uh, war gods and they're just waiting patiently to see if anybody would decide to come over and put some wards in that area and maybe catch somebody off guard yes ito ang problema sa lineup ninyo kapag ang nangyayari ay uh, hiwa-hiwala yung pag-defend ninyo na inyong mga lanes one buff ng team members ng, I uh, ng war gods dito ay makukuha yata ng team IPT na hindi nila alam wala silang kamalay-malay na gano'n ang mangyayari dito it looks like IPT will definitely go for this blue steel and this will be definitely a good advantage yes. and for early start for IPT as well. Yes, wala ka alam alam ang team ng Wargas dito na nakuha na ang blue buff. It looks stronger and I think ito lalo magpapahirap sa kanya kapag nakuha ulit ng IPT ang sarili ng blue buff dito. Alright, so uh, let's go to the laning phase. Caitlyn and uh, Leona have, are already at the bottom lane ahead of the Ezreal and Annie. And Elish was able to successfully take away the blue buff of uh, I, uh, War Gods. Alam mo, uh, Jay, if yung team ng IPT ay masecure nila yung pag-shutdown sa uh, jungle ng team War Gods dito, mahihirapang mga bawi ang team ng War Gods since sa lineup nila, Vi is one of their uh, key para sa pagkapanalo ng mga team fights na mangyayari mamaya. Yes, it looks like Vi will be, be, be able to spot uh, Elise going towards her own blue buff and this will be very dangerous. It looks like uh, Leon is coming to, coming to the jungle to help uh, Vi uh, steal this blue buff uh, back from, uh, from uh, Imperial Pro Team. Yes, ito na nga ba ang sinasabi ko. Sobrang pressure na binibigay ni Hero kay JLC mga kaibigan. Rebenka, babalak na kunin ang kanyang sariling buff dito pero stronger and si Boy mukhang ano yung agatap ng mga team fights dito mga kaibigan napakaganda pag stun coming dito kay Hatred and Disengage galing kay Stronger pero si Light 3 champion first 3 champion ng IPT dito Ezreal poking ito si uh, Ochi mga kaibigan exhausted na siya at tayo ito ni Benka ignited ngunit napakaganda pag flash in galing kay Trevor mga kaibigan he is chasing Rebenka dito at hindi nyo nakuha ang buhay ni Rebenka yes it looks like every, everybody was able to uh, escape from that uh, very dangerous uh, level 1 uh uh, engaged here in the jungle of the blue buff of uh, Imperial Pro team and just like everybody will just go back to their bases and heal up and uh, while well, the other champions will go back to their lane. Alam mo, good job para sa team ng Wargas na malaman itong si uh, Stronger na nakuha ang blue buff ng team nila sa laban nito. So, uh, hindi na siya nag-estate na kunin ang uh, blue buff ng team uh, IPT dito and with that, bawing bawi na siya, hindi na ganun kalaki yung bearing ng kanyang uh, pag-steal yung pag-steal ng Wargods uh, ng IPT kanina sa blue buff ni Wargods dito. Yeah, and a while ago while uh, that ha was happening uh, during the top lane uh, Renekton was able to uh, effectively harass uh, uh, JLC uh, using his scale and was able to force JLC to go back to base to heal up and giving Renekton a slight uh, minion advantage which it looks like K was able to uh, basically still get back into lane early enough to uh, catch up in CS. Yes, at this point of time mga kaibigan uh, 300 ang ating gold difference dito in favor sa team 
ng Wargat. So, laning phase mo lang tayo. Wala pa gano'n mga team fights na nangyayari. And, uh, kapag nagkaroon ulit ng mga cast, uh, magkasal po nga kahit na sino jungle dito, Elise versus uh, Vi, sino sa tingin mo yung mas uh, pagtutuminate nun sa dalawang yan? Actually, on a 1-1 basis, I'd have to give it early on to Elise. Uh, yes. The magic damage, as we all know, has uh, magic damage uh, for Elise is much higher than the, the attack damage that would be provided by V on a 1-on-1. On one -on -one. Of course, uh, if uh, v, does, v does get caught by the stun of Elise, this, that will be uh, very dangerous uh, for her. Not only that, alam mo rin, uh, isa alang-alang dito, yung uh, skills ni uh, Elise ay mas marami. Compare mo kay Vi, mayroon siyang almost anim na skills dito. Whereas, sobrang daming skills niya. Compare mo kay Vi, na mayroon dalawang skills dama kapag nagkaroon ng teamfight dito. Pero mga kaibigan, grabe ang pressure na binibigay dito ni Hero kay JLC. And he's trying to chase JLC. JLC na binibigay mag-disengage. Knowing ni Silibenka ay magre-respond sa top lane. Yes, again, ah... Uh... Uh, Heroes being very aggressive and looks like I will have to go back to the base for the second time in this game. Although since uh, Kale is a very good pusher and has a movement speed uh, 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 skill to increase her, his, her speed, she is able to go back to lane quickly. Yes, grabe yung ginagawa. Trevor, mga kaibigan, sinasayawa itong si Light sa mid lane. And I think so far ngayon, ha, laki ng CS, uh, CS advantage itong si... Uh, Z against dito kay Anivia. And ito yung isang maganda, kapag ang champion mo ay melee assassin champion sa mid lane. You can clear the wave ng mabilis na dito. That's right. Alright, looks like Rebenga's here. And he's not using any mana, mga kaibigan. Napakaganda pag-rappel galing dito kay Rebenga. And he's trying to chase Trevor. Ngunit napakaganda response coming from Stronger sa mid lane. And with that, one champion ng Team IPD dito ang bumagsak sa team member ng Wargaz. And one versus one, JLC versus Hero. Ignited na. At ganoon din naman sa bottom lane. Grabe sabay-sabay ang mga team fights dito. In any lane sa team members ng Wargaz at ng IPD. Grabe mga kaibigan. JLC is trying to chase Hero. With his dragoning attack, he gained one champion sa team members ng IPT. Yeah, and there was also a very good response from Trevor to make sure that even if a uh, uh, hero was able to flash over uh, the Baron Pit, uh, he would be there to pick up the kill. Okay, so uh, we're now here down at the bottom lane. Uh, it's pretty quiet as uh, they're continuing to see us and basically fear and hatred are just waiting for an opportunity, probably a possible gang from the jungler to be able to uh, counter the strong push that's being provided by uh, War God's bottom lane. So ngayon mga kaibigan ng ating CS dito ay 4650 para sa ating mga AD carries at lumang ng uh, around 5 CS itong si uh, Ezreal compared kay Gatis. Pero napakita ng pag-repel mga kaibigan. Hinamit lang ngayon ni Trevor ng kanyang SS Rebenka being ignited dito. Nakaligtas siya sa burst na kayang ibigay ni Trevor. So mga pagkakamit itong mga kaibigan, level 3 pa lang si Rebenka at talagang matindi ang pagkaagap sa kanya ng team members yeah, that was a good decision by Stronger by not following up on that. Because if he decided to dive Rebenga under the turn, it's possible that they might not even get the kill and lose one ki uh, lo lose one champion uh, for nothing. Alright, so right now Trevor is being very aggressive on Light. Light is able to do a stun and ignite on Trevor, which will take his life. Light, I think, belie I believe Light still has his passive and is now fighting a Wargard boy, war boy is trying to escape from Light's uh, harassment. Actually, medyo mali yung ginawa ni Trevor doon. Si Sisi just being a... Uh, uh, be, sobrang kampante niya sa mga pagkakataon. Ngayon, mapansin mo, uh, Anivia Light used his SS dito. And uh, actually, kung mapansin mo, Trevor, alam niya, alam nila na hindi pa nagkukultawin yung uh, reborn na itong si uh, Anivia. That's right. So right now, V is there at the middle lane. They're basically just protecting, uh, uh, trying to take the minions that are pushing down the tower of the middle lane. And it's... And here in the top lane, uh, JLC is basically isolating Renekton yes. from taking any minion kills. So, barang grabe yung ginagawa pag pressure itong si uh, JLC sa top lane. At mapasin din natin dito na medyo hirap na hirap si Hero na makasabay sa kanya since sobrang utilize yung uh, utilize na utilize yung kanyang skills dito at gamit na gamit yung kanyang third skill. Yes, that's right. And right now, since they're both already past level 6, uh, this is more in favor for Kyle because she'll be able to continuously use her range. Yes, the ligaw focus niya mga kaibigan para dito kay Rebenga. Ginamit na kay ni Rebenga kanyang rappel pero JLC na stand dito sa team members ng Wargaz. Uh, I mean ng IPT. At napagad na pag-deadmark coming from uh, sa uh, Trevor dito. Pero si Light mga kaibigan nasa lubong. Itong si JLC. JLC goes down at one, one exchange. Ang laban na yun. Pero Wargaz have the chance to get the Dragon sa laban na ito, first Dragon for this game against the team ng IPT. That's right, that was a very good response coming from uh, 
Trevor as he saw that uh, Kyle was uh, being very aggressive and he, he felt that probably that he would need some assistance if he was not. I began flash out Kyle Dito, I IPT hated it. As is Gallic is stronger, exhausted the Shangayan from team members ng IPT. Flash in si Jeffoy mga ibigan, inignite lamang si Hatred. At tayo doon mukhang 2 for 1 exchange, uh, two for 2 exchange ba yata? Ang laban na yun. That's right. Medyo mali ang pag-dive na yun sa turret. Alright, so right now, Anivia is uh, basically uh, clearing out the wards there in the Dragon Pit as she spotted it as she was returning back to lane. And Caitlyn has decided to go back to base to buy some items uh, to take a... Uh, to get ahead of uh, uh, Ezreal. Siguro mas okay pa si sana kung hindi nila nila chinay si si Ani doon sa laban kanina since nakakuha naman sila ng Dragon. But uh, dahil sa mga pangyayari ngayon, nakakuha ng uh, dalawang kill itong si Fear sa bottom lane. Yes, actually heroes right now actually roaming the jungle of uh, War God since he's, he's having a hard time with a uh, with a uh, JLC on the top lane. So he decided to find apply pressures other areas in the other areas of the map. Alright, so right now, uh, Light and uh, Trevor basically just uh, exchanging blows, hit after hit, and uh, Trevor's basically uh, succeeding in surviving the damage coming from Anivia. And there right now, we have Stronger spotting another pink ward from uh, from uh, Imperial Pro Team in the blue buff, in their, in the blue buff of uh, War Gods. Yes, at sa mga pagkakataon ito, we are seeing na talagang sinesecure din ang Team IPT, ang jungle route itong si uh, Stronger, kung saan isa sa key point ng Team War Gods to win this game. That's right. I really feel I think they put a, uh, a pink ward there is to avoid the, the blue skill that happened earlier in the, uh, in the first start of the game. Yes. And actually, uh, itong pink ward na yun, pwede rin makatulong sa pag-secure uh, dito ng uh, objective ninyo. Mga kaibigan, nandito na ngayon na team ng Imperium Pro Team para kunin ang second bound, uh, blue buff sa laban nila against sa team ng war guys. Yes, that was very good the response from the team IPD to help protect IPT light to get the blue their own blue buff because you know as we all know Anivia is a very mani, mana hungry champion and with that blue buff he, that will definitely help her sustain in the lane. Well, I begin 11 minute mark, uh, 4 4 final score natin and uh, 16.4k versus 5 15.3. Ang ating goal difference dito ay almost 1k in favor sa team ng War Gods. At yes, dahil doon, I think one reason to buy sila may advantage dito. Ay sana kuha nila yung first dragon sa laban na to. Yes, actually, that's right. So right now, uh, there we go. Yes, we can see Light with that blue buff is very strong now. It's giving Trevor a very hard time. And, and Trevor is going very aggressive and trying to uh, deal some damage to Light. While uh, Strong comes in to dive with uh, Assault and Battery and gets uh, start, uh, basically locked down by the wall of Anivia inside the turret. Napakasakit ng pressure na binigay ito ng team ng IPT. And sobrang uh, aggressive itong si Stronger na nagbigay sa kanya ng disadvantage sa pagpasok nila yun and that this is the kill para sa team ng uh, IPT dito mga kaibigan it's a reborn coming dito kaya light sa mid lane na pagkita mag disengage itong si uh, Z sa mid lane so mga pagkakataon yun malaking bagay na to for the next 200 seconds na magkak or makuha nila ang buhay ni uh, Anivia hindi na siya mag reborn kagay that's right. So right now, IPT is continuing, trying, looks like they're trying to take down already the turn of Wargas here at the bottom lane. Here's being very aggressive against o Ochi right now. Yes, mga kaibigan. Unfortunately, hindi na sayang para sa akin ang uh, paggamit ng Tibers itong si uh, Hatred sa bottom lane. Ginamit niya yun kay uh, Leona instead of uh, using it to uh, Kaitlyn. Yes, excellent flash coming out from here to take out uh, JLC scale as she uh, uh, tr tried to hide in the bushes using her intervention, but which is not enough to save her life. Actually, napakaganda performance dito kay uh, Rebenga. Ang ginagawa niya pag-pressure sa top lane. And uh, kahit namang si uh, JLC pagdating sa hara sa top lane, with the ganks coming from Rebenga, sobrang susulit ni uh, Hero yung kanyang leading phase dito. And uh, with that, nakakuha siya ng advantage, kill advantage dito sa kanyang kalaban. At lalo magpapahirap ito para kay JLC na masustain yung kanyang lane. And much better na kung gagala na lang siya sa ibang lanes instead of staying sa lane niya ngayon. Yes, that is the second turn for, uh, in favor of Imperial Pro Team. They take the lead in towers for two for nothing right now. And let's see how uh, Wargod will respond to this as they are right now uh, having a tower deficiency due to those two, uh, two towers down just now. 
Alright, so uh, as you can see, uh, basically, uh, Anivia, most of the members of uh, Imperial Pro Team are all together here in the mid lane. It looks like they want to take out the last first uh, outer turn of uh, War Gods here in the mid lane. Alam mo, dapat gawin ng team uh, War Gods dito ay makipag magkaroon ng gangs na 5 man team sila. And they have to make sure na ang IPT ay kulang ang kanilang members. Since lahat ng halos skill ng team members dito ng IPT ay merong crowd control. Lalo na nagbibigay sa kanila ng advantage sa mga teamfights na mangyayari. That's right. Now after taking the, the, the middle turn for, uh, of, for, of uh, War Gods, IPT is preparing to take the second dragon of the game because uh, first, the first dragon went to War Gods and looks like IPT does not want to give War Gods another dragon to come back into this game. Okay, the seconds pa bago mabuhay ang second dragon sa laban na ito. At kapag nakuha ito ulit ang War Gods, siguradong magkakaroon na naman ng snowball sa kanilang items. Pero mga kaibigan, 2k ang gold defense natin in favor sa team ng IPT ngayon. It having the 4-7 score kapag nakuha ito ng War Gods, mapapalit ang difference na to. Yeah, so basically all the members of War Gods and IPT are right now near the dragon. It looks like they don't want they want to contest this dragon from IPT and IPT has begun to take the dragon while two members of War Gods have decided to, to probably take the, the middle third in, in exchange for this dragon. At ito na mukhang free dragon sa team members. Napagay na pag-tippers mga kaibigan galing kay Hater dito. Ngunit nag-initiate na si Stronger para makabawi sana. Unfortunately, grabe ang pagpasok nila yun. Medyo magkakamali ang ginawang pressure dito ng team ng IPT. IPT Light trying to save himself mga kaibigan. Napagay na pag-ball at narangan ang apat na member ng team Wargas dito. Pero IPT Hero, Chini Chase ng four members ng team Wargas. At mukhang meron pang isang champion, Fear, trying to save himself. Free hit mga kaibigan para dito kay Kale, one champion, ace mga kaibigan, ang team ng IPT dito. Kahit mapapansin mo, akalain natin na medyo lumalamang sila ang team ng uh, IPT dito. Nakuha nila yung Dragon but War Gods got an ace sa laban nila against sa team ng IPT. Yes, that's, that's a good job from War Gods. They had good coordination and they were able to take out the prior tar targets first and were able to close out by cleaning up the rest of the members of uh, IPT. And right now, as we can see, uh, War Gods Ochi is currently trying to take down the bottom third of uh, Imperial Pro Team, but there still is a lot of health on that third, so it will take a while before he'll be able to uh, take it down for, them, for, for Team War Gods. Right, Ravenga just took uh, the red buff from himself for himself, and is now uh, decided go probably gonna go down to the blue buff to help uh, Anivia. Or basically, he's basically waiting uh, to see where who's who's in the jungle, and looks like he just spotted V in the their own jungle. Nine nine ng score natin at mga ibigan na kahabul ulit ang team ng Wargas dito against the team ng IPT. At ang ating goal difference ay tina ganon kalaki. Pero advantage pa rin sa team ng IPT dito. Mga kaibigan, nagkasalo pong si Stronger at si Rebenga. At kaya na sinabi natin na hihirapan si Rebenga na saluin ang burst damage ng gagaling dito kay Rebenga. At kahit lumaban siya doon, sigurado kaya-kaya pa rin siya pitasin itong si uh, Rebenga. Yes, that was a good job from, Reba from Rebenga. He spotted V. He uh, signaled Renekton to help him uh, iso uh, trap uh, V in their jungle and force Rebenga to flash out to the Baron Pit to escape with his life. Yes, and ito na ating mga, uh, mga pangyayari ngayon. 5-1 ang score nitong si uh, Trevor sa mid lane and mawapas niya natin 3-1-2 ang score nitong si Anivia or si Light. So, I think mid lane, uh, Anivia got the advantage ng laning phase pero nung nagkaroon na ng mga teamfights, Trevor bumawi sa mga pangyayari na nangyayari kanina and uh, 5-1 ang kanyang score. I think naka-double kill siya kanina sa dragon fight na nangyayari. Yes, actually, even with the gold pretty, being pretty much even, I still think uh, Imperial Pro Team has the advantage due to the tower advantage they have, and that gives them better map control over War God. Yes, ma, I began JLC first hero sa top lane, 1v1. Ginamit na niya ngayon ang kanyang ignite. At good job pa dito kay JLC sa pagtatago, ma, I began sa bush dito. Ginamit na kanyang divine intervention. And I think for the next na damage na mangyayari dito, galing kay hero, may hirap si JLC na saluhin to dahil Let's see yung kanyang duration ngayon ng uh, kanyang skill. Unfortunately, hindi natin makita dahil sa, sa nakapost yung game natin. Ayan. Konti na lamang at uh, mawawala na yung kanyang Divine Blessing dito. And meron siyang 10 seconds bago mag-cooldown to. Since meron siyang blue buff, yung cooldown reduction nito ay effective. Pero let's see kung anong mangyayari dito sa top lane. A uh, few seconds left bago mawawala ang kanyang uh, Divine Intervention dito. And with that, natulit ang mag-disengage si JLC. Since alam niya na meron siyang disadvantage nung nawala yung kanyang divine intervention. That's right. So here goes uh, 
IPC is basically uh, trying to uh, regroup here in the middle lane we have three members we have Rebenga there trying to push the middle lane and decide not to continue because he can't see the other members of uh, War Gods so ngayon mga kaibigan uh, we're seeing the 9 9 pa rin ang score natin and uh, ang laki na lang hindi na wala na hindi goals difference natin dito at hindi na ganun kalaki talaga almost 100 na lamang ang bilis na mga pangyayari dito Yes, I think War Gods definitely have to start grouping together. They are they are definitely more stronger as a team than individually. Although they all have excellent one v one skills, definitely they can be easily picked off if ever they get caught out by uh, uh, the team of uh, IPT. Especially since most of the members of IPT deal magic damage, and there isn't re really that much magic resistance on the members of War Gods. So now we can see that they are able to snowball the item of Severe. sa bottom lane and uh, I think kapag nakabuo na siya na Trinity Force sobrang mahihirapan ang team ng Trevor na saluhin ng damage out mo na ibigay since meron siyang blood thirster ngayon at lalo, lalo magbibigay ng pressure kapag nagkaroon ng mga team, uh, team fights dito pero mga kaibigan 3 champions ng team uh, IPT dito ang hinahabol si Trevor Trevor used his Denmark kay Fear para at least makuha na sana ang buhay ni Fear pero shutdown siya dito and with that a free 500 gold para dito kay Fear sa top lane mga kaibigan JLC hinahabol si Light Ginamit ako niya Divine Intervention Pero napakaganda pag wall mga kaibigan Galing kay IPD Light At sinulit niya Ang wall na yun Uses SS And then burst damage Galing dito kay IPD Light Very good job Sa team ng IPD dito Rebenga Na tumahan ng Solar Flare mga kaibigan Ginamit ako niya Rebel Trying to disengage Ito sa apat na tatlong members Sa team Wargods Bayad na bayad Ang pagkamatay Ang pagkamatay ng dalawang members Sa team Wargods dito Stop at speed stage And they are trying to get The secondary turret Sa bottom lane As well as din naman sa team IPD They're trying to get the second third turret sa top lane ng Team Wargan. Yes, so basically uh, both teams exchanged third for third for the top lane and bottom lane. But Warga, uh, Wargas was probably in advantage there because they were able to take out uh, Rebenga at the same time. Alright, so it looks like uh, Trevor is in a very dangerous position as two, three members of IPT are still there. It looks like the, uh, IPT will be able to secure the kill for themselves. Yes, face check, ma. I began. Hindi na hindi alam ni Trevor na mayro tatlong members sa team IPT dito na nagintay para makuha ang isang buo na isang champion dito na team Wargas. Yes, and they basically uh, chained their CC on him to stun. So by the time uh, they was able to uh, try to uh, use his mobility to escape from them, he only had a little life, and they were able to follow up with a uh, fierce uh, poking skills. Uja para highlight sa pagpapalakas uh, dito kay uh, Anivia. Well, knowing Anivia, she's a champion na talagang uh, hindi siya ganun na mabilis gumalaw na champion kung saan kayang-kaya siya napatahin kagad ng kahit na sino champion dito from the Team Wargods pero sobrang ganda na performance itong si uh, Light sa paggamit ng uh, Anivia sa mga pagkakatang ito. Alright, it looks like uh, Wargods is deciding to uh, take uh, another, bar another dragon this game. Yes, third yes. dragon sa laban na ito against the team ng Wargods. And since there's no ward from uh, IPT Second Dragon, wala, sorry Nakapakaganda pag-initiate, galing ito kay Stronger Ngunit nandito si Rebenga para yung first guy si JLC mga kaibigan Napilitang mag-rappel At dahil to, hindi sana siya umamatay But JLC got his life mga kaibigan Two champion ng team Wargas dito ang bumagsak At nanganib pa ngayon si Trevor Hatred goes down At inaabol ngayon ni Stronger Si Light with his reborn mga kaibigan Hindi pa nagkukunta ng reborn Take note at naging itook na po si Light Three champion ng team Wargas Ang nag-aabol dito para makuha ang buhay ni Light IPT Hero Binerge sana si Stronger pero napakaganda pag shield Gamit ang kanyang third skill dito Fear Fear ano kanyang gagawin dito ni Fear Para matakpo nga dahil sa napakaganda pag Blade of the Ruin King Galing dito kay Trevor Fear goes down 15-4 ang score natin Dragon plus three champions sa team ng War uh, IPT ang nakuha ng team Wargas. And now even the blue buff of IPT is being taken by Wargas for themselves. Alright, so that was actually, I think IPT should have already backed out the two members. They already knew uh, that IPT Light could not go anywhere and was definitely gonna die. They were too, being too greedy, they wanted to take down another champion and in, in, in the end they just ended up losing two more champions. Member, two more members in their team. Yes, boy, without wasting time, this is Solar Flare. Para mas secure sana ang buhay ni Rebenga. But they have to disengage since ginamit ni Rebenga ang kanyang rappel. 
Alright, so uh, right now, uh, War God mem two members of War Gods are going back to base to heal up and probably acquire more items for the next fight. Uh, Trevor is continuing to roam around the ju their jungle to pick up a few more CS to help him complete his item build. 15-4 on score natin in favor of the team ng War Gods. Ngayon sa mga pag-garap lang ito, ang ating goal difference na ay almost 3k. At this point of time, we're seeing that sobrang nakakabawi na at team ng War Gods at advantage nila sa team ang laban na ito. Alright, so right now we can uh Stronger is taking uh their own red buff for himself and uh Zed is hiding in the bush and waiting for uh probably Edriel to approach him. But uh looks like uh the support uh, here in the top lane. Chase got it, he's stronger. Para kay IP the fear, pero it didn't sign or Trevor my IP got hatred goes down, Ginamiti uh Fear ang kanyang Trushot Barrage dito. One versus one, stronger versus Fear. Ano kaya gagawin dito ni Fear to get at least one champion, mga kaibigan, na iwan dito. Napakaganda pagpasok uh, sa loob nitong si Fear. With the wards na nandun sa team members ng uh, IPD dito, muntik nang makuha ni Fear ang buhay ni Wargats, uh, Trevor dito. Pero Trevor goes down. Good job para kay uh, Fear dito. Without knowing na may paparating na champion doon, just randomly used. He's big para mahuwang isang champion ito ng team IPT. Pero mga kaibigan, top lane dito, hero, hero goes down. Nakuha nito ni JLC. Mga kaibigan, wala na divine intervention si JLC sa top lane. Pero Rivenga, trying to chase pa rin ang tatlong champion ng team members dito ng Warcats. And with Light, andito na si Light mga kaibigan, Rivenga at si Hatred. At dahil doon, Warcats have to disengage sa laban na yun. Yes, that was a nice class from GLC. JLC to avoid Rebenga stun and preventing that from him from dying. Alright, so right now, uh, the three members of uh, Wargod are going back to base and uh, uh, Team IPT is currently uh, just basically cleaning their jungle camp. Right now, I think what, uh, from what I'm seeing, Wargod is definitely slowly crawling back and taking advantage of uh, uh, IPT's uh, uh, strategy. They're slowly by slowly taking out all the turns. As we can see now, the turns are dead even. Each, uh, no, no, sorry, uh, War Gods has uh, taken out five of uh, IPT's turns while IPT has taken only four of their turns. And a while ago, as we saw, uh, I, uh, War Gods did not take, wasn't able to take down any of the turns, but because they're grouping up together, they're slowly by slowly uh, coming back into this game. Good job para kay Ezreal or kay Fierce sa ginagawa niyang performance dito kung saan sobra niyang nabibigyan ng pressure ng team members ng Wargas dito. Pero ginamit ako ni uh, Trevor na kanyang Deathmark pero Fear used his Arcane Shift para makapag-disengage dito at grabe yung damage output na binibigay niya dito kay Trevor. Trevor mga kaibigan na nanganib ang kanyang buhay dito. Fear used his Fire nagamit na kanyang ni Trevor na kanyang GA dito pero ignited ngayon si Fear. Blue Shot Barrage with a response from Hater dito. Ginamit na kanyang Divers. Ace in the hole. Galing kay Kaden. Kaden got the life of fear sa bottom lane. Ang stumble na mga kaibigan si Ochi. JLC first night mga kaibigan with his reborn. Ano kaya gagawin dito? Ginamit na kayo ni JLC ang kanyang uh, divine intervention pero isang malaking bagay na rin sa pagpapakultown ng uh, reborn itong si Light sa laban na yun. Pero napagad na pagstand mga kaibigan. Galing kay Hatred, Solar Flare, galing kay Leona, Distant Kish mga kaibigan. Itong si Stronger, Revenga uses Serpel para i-chase Stronger and they're chasing boy right now. Boy, na ang hari pa kanya boy dito na laban sa apat na member ng team ng IPT. Boy goes down to four members of IPT. Sa mga pagkakataon ito mukhang kukunin nila ang Baron and JLC is trying to stall ang team members ng IPT sa laban na ito. Alright, JLC is right there right all alone. He can see that the members of IPT are grouping to take uh, take the Baron but uh, right now IPT is undecided whether they're gonna take this Baron or chase down JLC in the top lane. So, galit na galit na mga kaibigan si Hater. Ginamit na kayo ni Sir Andrevor ng kanyang deathmark dito. And they have to disengage mga kaibigan ni Venka. Makakaligtas nga pa. Again, dito kay Trevor. Ginamit ngayon ni, yun, ni uh, JLC ng kanyang Divine Intervention. Ngunit dahil sa Ignite, nakuha pa rin ang kanyang buhay. Napilit ang mag-disengage mga kaibigan. Itong si Ochi. Ginamit na ngayon ni JLC ng kanyang Zonya. Ngunit hindi pa rin sapat para maligtas dito. With the ace in the hole. Kaya dito kay Ochi. Nakuha niya. Napakaganda pag flash out. Plus, ginamit ang kanyang buyer dito. Double kill. Para kay Ochi, very good job dito kay Ochi mga kaibigan galawan lamang ginamit ang kanyang kind skills against sa team member ng IPT dito. Two champions from team IPT ang wala na dito sa laban na ito at mukhang free baron sa laban nila against sa team 
ng war god. Alright, looks like Rebenga is coming over to probably do an attempt bar, ba, to attempt a Baron Steel. Let's see what he can do with this. So, Obrang is going to ito sa pagkita ng team war gods at ang IPT. And so far, Rebenga is trying to wait na makuha ang Baron na ito. He is about to use his Rappel, mga kaibigan, para isil ang Dragon. A Baron, I mean, sorry. Good job para sa team members ng war gods dito para makuha ang buhay nitong si Rebenga plus isa pang Baron and IPT Light is trying to stall ang team members ng IP uh, ng Wargas dito pero napakita pag stall the fair by Wargas Jepoy and with that they have to disengage sa laban na yun that's right that was perfect timing although Rebenga to attempt to steal the Baron was really good uh, the timing coming from Wargas was very 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 good that so they were able to still take the war uh, the Baron for themselves after that they started to uh, uh, IPT Light tried to engage them, but with the excellent solar flare coming from uh, Poi, he, he was able to prevent any more losses from the to prevent any losses from their team. Yes, ma, I think that no, he didn't say anything. IPT, the pagkakatao na kuni ng dragon sa laban nito, and with that, it's a free dragon to magbabaka sa kaling walang magistil from the team members ng Vargas dito. Pero nagabang ay si Stronger ma, I think that napaka tapos smite this smite still sa dragon na yon. Murit ang ari pa kanyang boys sa tung members dito ng team IPT mga kaibigan grabe ang sustain na kagagawa nyo flash out hindi tumama ang true shot for us itong si Ezreal pero Wargat's boy na huli ng apat na member ng team IPT dito napakaganda pag divine intervention ngunit hindi pa rin sapat para maligtas at least itong si boy man lang sana ginamit na ang kanyang zone niya hatred with the burst damage coming from Onchi ginamit na kanyang ace in the hole IPT fear goes down ganun din naman dito I as Wargats JLC and good job pa sa team ng Wargats for stealing that dragon plus two champion kill. That's right. Actually, I'm very impressed with how Str Stronger is performing today. He was able to steal today. He was able to steal one dragon and one baron as well earlier er, earlier in the previous match. And because of this, this is giving Wargats a chance to actually get back into this game and, and, and win this game, possibly this game. So brang spirit spirit ang ginagawang performance ng si Gating sa kanyang uh, pagkait, sa kanyang kalapat, umabas yung 9-1 ang score natin, 9-1 uh, ang score ni Caitlyn dito, o ito si Ochi, ngunit hindi pa rin sobrang nabibigyan ng pressure ng kanyang teams dito. At uh, kahit alam natin sa sarili natin na siya ang pinag-full force ng kahit sinong member dito na team IPT, diktas pa rin siya palagi ang isa kanyang kalaban. Yes, and right now actually, if you take a look at the gold, War Gods is now leading by almost 9,000 gold, which is very impressive from what earlier in the game they were behind by a few thousand gold but now Wargas has taken it, uh, taken it back and is now in the lead yes. against IPT. Kung papansin mo, napakalaki ng gold difference itong si, uh, si Ochi against dito kay Fear having the almost 3,000 gold difference dito at napakalaki talaga ng gold na yun. Actually, makakabuo ka na kagad at ng, uh, ng isang bloodthirster dito. So mga kaibigan, stun coming from Hatred dito sa so, ibandang jungle nila ginamit ako ng S IPT Fear goes down sa member ng Team Wargas mo chance for them to get the second third turret plus inhibitor dito sa laban nila against sa Team IPT 3 champions ng IPT ang bumagsak Revenga use his zone niya ngunit hindi pa rin sapat para maligtas ang kanyang sarili dito 5 champions from Team Wargas ang buhay pa they're trying to get the third third turret at inhibitor sa laban na ito and with that a free inhibitor for this game against the team ng IPT at kung nagkaroon sila ng chance they're trying to get the Nexus uh, sa mga pagkakataon sa laban nito and Renekton Hero is trying to defend the turret Nexus turret mga kaibigan pero ace para sa team ng Wargods at isang Recta to straight to win this game sa laban nito against the IPT good job congratulations Wargods for winning against the team IPT alright that was a very good game interesting games today uh, one, one wins for both teams uh, both games were uh, fairly even, uh, gold was not that far, and by good, uh, the players both have very good mechanical skills and they're able to basically uh, exec execute each uh, their plans. Yes, good job para sa team ng Wargas dito sa pakabawi, sa mga nangyari kanina, and actually having the uh, sobrang gandang kahit talaga galing kay Caitlyn, and uh, no questions asked dito, not only JLC, did his best sa kanyang laning phase dito but yung napakagandang divine intervention niya sa kanyang teammates dito at syempre yung kiting skills si Caitlyn to win this game very good job for team Wargods for winning the game 1-1 na ang game natin for tonight 1-1 ang score ni IPT 1-1 ang score ng Wargods dito alright congratulations again Wargods for winning the game against the team ng, J, uh, ng uh, IPT dito alright GG Spear uh, for this game who would you like to give the MVP to? kaya sinabi ko kanina I would give the MVP award dito kay uh, Caitlyn 
And that's, at the same time, dito rin kay Kale or kay JLC, na kung saan yung ginawa niya talagang performance dito, not only by uh, giving so much damage sa kanyang kalaban dito, but also yung kanyang divine intervention, yung mga saktong divine intervention sa kanyang kalaban. So, okay. syempre, bago, lahat, uh, bago natin tapusin ang ating game dito, gusto ko nga palang uh, inbitahan na isang member ng team ng War Gods dito. So, ayan. Uh, team uh, Jepoy. So, may robot uh, tayong mic to. So, oh my God. Ah, sige. Ayan, ayan, ayan. ayan kay Jepoy. So, uh, ayan, sa lahat ng tinakalam, this uh, uh, team member ng uh, War Gods, ang support na role ng team War Gods dito, <laughs> War Gods Boy. So, War Gods Boy, Ano yung ginawa mong uh, performance kanina? Ano yung sa tingin mo yung nagpanalo sa team ninyo against sa team ng IPT sa second game ninyo? Nagpanalo? Wala, nag nagchuchok sila eh. <laughs> Bay, nagchuchok yung kalaban eh. So, uh -huh. ginamit namin yun na... Ano ba tawag doon? Ano? Parang cue namin na tapusin yung laro. Nag ah, so... Isang lang nagchuchok si Fear. So, talagang ginamit nyo ng objective talaga yung laban hmm, ninyo? Tapos yun, pro objectives kami. They are towers. Yun. So, sa tingin mo sa support champion dito, ano yung pinaka naging uh, tulong mo? sa pag-defeat uh, against sa team ng IPT dito. Tagasurelia. Tayash. <laughs> In lang, Silvi, ko. Oh. <laughs> okay. Again, congratulations, uh, Wargas, for winning the game. And uh, anything gusto mo sabihin sa mga players na nanonood ngayon and sumusuporta sa team ng Wargas? Ano? Wala. Ant antayin nyo lang kami. <laughs> ah, antayin nyo lang kami sa GPL. <laughs> okay, Yun lang ang sabihin ko. Ayun, sige lang. Maraming isa salamat, Wargas. Isa pa, isa pa. Pero ba? Wala nang 10-0. Ano yun? Hindi ko ma... Uh, oh. Hehehe Hehehe joke yun Tropa ko Oh, tropa ko yung mga IPT Nice game, sir Thank you very much Wargats boy For napakagad ang Salaysay Galing sa'yo And again, congratulations Wargats for winning game Against IPT Again It was a very good job Para din sa IPT Sa ginawa nila performance kanina Actually I would give credits din Kay Fear Sa ginagawa niyang Pag micro kanina I mean, pag kite niya Against the two members Ng team ng Wargats dito Just to kill A champion So, good job by Fear. Also, kay Light, na talagang nasulit niya yung champion niya na si Anivia. Yes, that's right. <coughs> Alright, so, uh, before we go, we end today, I just want to remind everybody, we'd like to thank Smart regarding their new program, which is Game X. And Game X is basically something to help you buy E-pins in, in, in emergency. So, uh, if you're out of E-pins, and you, uh, you don't need to worry anymore because you can now buy E-pins online at Game X and pay using your mobile load. Simply go to GameX.ph and select the game you are playing. Click on the EPN amount you want. You'll then be asked to type in your mobile number. Te a text verification code will be displayed, and if it's correct, you just uh, you receive your EP EPN code via text. It's that simple. No need to stop playing, no need to get up from your seat, and no waiting in line. Thanks to GameX, exclusively available at Smart, TNT, and Sun Cellular subscribers. So ayan, napakalaki tulong itong GameX na to sa atin, sa, sa ating mga summoners. Lalo na lalo na kung halimbawa naglalaro ka, syempre wala kang pasok, tinatamad ng lumabas, basta may smart load ka lang. Simply uh, load and uh, convert it to shells gamit ang ating events dito. So kaya sinabi na natin, lahat information I think, makikita nyo na lamang sa ating uh, web, sa website ng smart events. So thank you very much again for watching. You're watching the Pro Gaming Series Spring Season 2014. I'm Gigi Sphere. And I'm Jay. Kita kasi tayo ulit bukas. Same time slot. And thank you very much again for watching. Salamat. Good evening and good night.